Alrighty. For the longest time, I thought I've already shot a beer review on this particular brew. But apparently I haven't. And this, this beer may not seem that important or significant, but it has played a, a huge part in my life. So let's do this, shall we? Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Brewski, for another Rooski Brewski review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is none other than Lake Port Honey. Boom. This one's in a bottle, funny enough. Lake Port Honey. They are brewed by Labatt, A, B, and Bev. 5% alcohols by volume. Lager, premium beer. Don't know if there's actual any actually any honey in here, but it's just Lake Port honey. 5% ABV, no listed IBUs on the bottle, website, or untapped, but being a, a, a budget beer, um, probably nothing there. Let's pop this top, it's a twist off. Don't get too many of those around here. Pour it into a nondescript uh, glass as well. We're about half in there, boom, <clears throat> there we go. Looking at the beer, clear gold, honey gold in color, nice white head on top, nothing overly fancy, but has a pretty, pretty color. <clears throat> Indeed, let's dive in on that nose. On the nose, grassy, dried grass, hay, light grain, maybe a wisp of caramel. Not much going on here. It's a budget beer. It's nothing fancy. It's on your lower end of the cost, but yeah, more grassy, grainy, um, hay sort of aromas. Let's dive in. On the sip, a little, a slight little bit of caramel sweetness to it. Again, it's more of those grassy, grainy, more grainy and dead grass uh, sort of notes coming through here. It does finish with probably like more like a caramel sweetness, but I guess if you're going with the name of the beer, a little bit of a honey uh, sweetness as well. Doubt, again, there's really any honey in here, but who knows, there could be. Cheers, everybody. Well, let's keep on drinking. I'm gonna tell you why this one means so much to me. Mm. But before that, good body to it, not light. Not overly full, nice moderate body, nicely effervescent, extremely refreshing, and just that added little bit of sweetness. It's not cloyingly sweet or anything like that, but it has a bit of a sweetness, a little bit more flavor than you would get from another, you know, budget beer oriented uh, or offering uh, per se from, from you know, the, the LCBO or uh, for, sorry, from the beer store. This isn't sold in the LCBOs. But why, why is Lake Port Honey such a, why, why am I such a big fan of this particular brew? Well, it's the beer I drank in college when like right after high school, got into college and, 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 and figured out over a short period of time that, well, I don't have a ton of money uh, to spend on things. And one of those things being alcohol. Me, um before you know pick up a Canadian or a Budweiser or something like that usually but those were expensive at the time so going to the beer store and whatnot I or looking online I saw that there were a bunch of different beers you had your Bushes you had your James Reddies you had your Paps your Millers not Millers Milwaukee Old Milwaukee's all that kind of stuff and everybody else really drank that stuff and I've had a few of like you know a few of those but they weren't that great and I'm thinking there's got to be something better for the ridiculously low price well not ridiculously low is still expensive because we're in Ontario but you know budget oriented beer and I saw Lakeport honey I'm just like you know what there's probably no honey in here but it's something different something that nobody else drinks so I picked it up I picked it up they used to, used to get come in cans oh I got them in cans because uh, we couldn't have bottles on the residence and I, I fell in love with the beer. It had more flavor than your Bushes of the World, your old, your old Milwaukee's, your Paps Blue Ribbons, all that shit. 
So it was, it was it was really really good for the price that I was paying. There was no difference than a Bush or a Mil old Milwaukee or a PBR or anything like that. And I'm just like, you know what? This is this is my budget beer. And I drank an immense amount of this shit uh, for the first year, year and a half, year, both two years I want to say. Whenever I was going to get beer, <coughs> like 90% of the beer was Lake Port Honey. And I was happy with it. It's fantastic. Compared to other beers in the same price range, Yards of what yard, yards ahead of the of the pack, absolutely amazing. See the bottle has to say, Lake Port Honey, five percent alcohol is by volume, premium beer, and it was a beer made in Hamilton. If I'm not mistaken, their brewery was where what now is Collective Arts. So it's a Hamilton beer. I was going to school in Hamilton. I thought this is just perfect. On here again, five percent ABV, no real descriptions, nothing like that. Just return for refund. A website name, um, where it's brewed, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, don't see any date code on here. Could just be hidden, but hey, it's fresh. It's delicious. And yeah, boom. Lake Port Honey, absolutely fantastic. Website, this is a weird thing about the website. Um, it says Lake Port Honey Brewing, or sorry, lakeportbrewing.ca, both on the bottle and on the Labatt website. But that link has been dead forever, or as long as I've ever tried to check it out. <laughs> you get absolutely nothing. So, we have Labatt.com. This is under the regional domestic brands. Description of this beer is Lake Port Honey Lager is a 5% alcohol lager with a hint of honey. So maybe, yeah, there is honey in here. It provides an exceptionally smooth finish and is brewed to Lake Port's highest quality standards. Very short and sweet, but it works. It works really, really well. I'm a big fan of this beer. Untapped Lake Port Honey Lager has been given a 2.59 bottle caps out of 5. That's out of 613 ratings. As for the price of the beer, uh, as far as I know, it's only available at the beer store in Ontario, not the LCBO. We have two major liquor uh, conglomerates. We have the government-run LCBO and the uh, brewery monopoly-run uh, beer store. Uh, has the same descriptions, all that, but we're looking for pricings. Uh, bottles comes in 12 packs, two fours, 30 cases for 22.50, 38.50, and 46.50 respectively. Uh, respectively, never know which one to use. And then cans, we have 12 cases, 24s, 48s, 12 starting at 24.95. Uh, cans coming in at 47.95 for the two four and a 48 is 83.75. So it's a budget beer, and you can't really complain with budget beer, really. It's uh, it's fantastic at times if you want to feel, what am I saying? I don't know. See, at that price range, it, it, it's on that budget end, you know. It is classified as a budget when you go to the beer store or their website or anything like that. So, <coughs> my opinion, you get a lot more beer compared to the others in the same price, uh, in, in the same price range, so... I love it. I love it. Just in the final sip, guys. Let's get ready to rings and wrap this thing up. Lake Port Honey. Full flavored. A little bit of honey. Grassy, grainy, dried grass. Hey. Can't complain for the lower, or the, one of the lower priced beers, if not one of the lowest. It's fantastic. And, and has a, has a you know holds holds a place near and dear in my heart for my uh, drinking career, and it's it it, it it's a it's a, what do they call that? It's a hidden gem. That's what it is. It's a hidden gem. Overall, it's not overly amazing, but at the same time, for the price and what you're getting, it, it it's it's exceptional in my opinion. Overall, Lake Port Honey gets a solid, a solid seven out of ten for me. Seven, seven, seven. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all the information 
down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Nate Peruski, I would greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Nate Peruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Oh, Lake Port, honey, the beer that got me through the first year or two of college. Do -do -do. Starting me on a big beer journey that I've grown to love. Cheers.